Good morning, Facebook world. Good morning to all saints. We greet you this morning in the name of our resurrection Savior, Jesus the Christ. To the First New Life Church family, happy Resurrection Sunday. First Lady, Gloria and I, along with the deacons uh, and our production team have come to uh, share a word with you this morning. We greet you in Jesus' joy. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, at this time, as we continue to move forward, we're going to ask Deacon Worley if you just give us a selection. Amen. And after that, we're going to have our scripture by Deacon Tom Mitchell, and we will have prayer by Deacon Laura Robinson.
hear, but I believe. Amen. The convention will come at this time with our scripture. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Give an honor to God who's head of my life. Honor to Pastor Worley, First Lady. Bless you. God bless you. Deacons and the production crew and everyone else who may be listed. I will be coming from John 11, 25 through 26. Right. <clears throat> you have to say amen. And it reads, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Mm -hmm. He that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Mm -hmm. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, believeth that this. God's word is God's people. Amen. Amen. Set up this chair on this morning, y'all. Just, just pray with us that, you know, that God will be done. And that though God still is in control. Amen. 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 Our Father, what y'all gonna have? Once again, Father God, we come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, how you just touched us early this morning. Yes. And allow us to see a brand new day. Right. Right. And on top of that, Father God, you give you new mercy. Hallelujah. And that's enough to say thank you. Father. Thank you, God. Then Father God, we thank you for your you just going out on your cross. Mm -hmm. And on the third day, Father God, you yes, rose with yes, all yes, power yes, in your hands. Yes, and that did us not to say thank you thank this morning. God. Then, Father God, we thank you for the one that's here on this morning. Yes, Father God, we just ask you to bless the one that is not able to come out, Father yes, God. You know, Father God, we just ask you to lift that back up and pray. We just want to take our time and say thank you. Thank you then, Father God, we thank you to love your son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Would have died on Yonder's cross and, yeah. and, and rose with all power in his hand. Oh, we just want to take our time and say thank you, thank Father. You, then, Father God, we thank you for uh, uh, things as well as it is on yeah. this morning. Yeah. Father God, we're able to breathe this morning. Mm -hmm. That's just up to say thank you. Thank you. Then, Father God, we ask you to forgive us for all our wrong deeds, mm -hmm. Father God, for mm -hmm. whatever might have been, Father God. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, we just ask you to cast this here and forget. Mm -hmm. We just want to take our time to say thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you Lord. Yeah. Then, Father God, we thank you for the food you put on mm -hmm. our table this morning. Yeah. How you clothe us in our right mind. Yes, sir. Oh, and that's just up to say thank you. Yeah. Morning. Then, Father God, we know y'all were in here on this morning. Oh, mm -hmm. Father God, we just have to shower down on, on your people, Father Amen. God. Amen. All over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Father God, we ever need you. We need you right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. We just want to take our time and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Then, Father God, in times like these, Father mm -hmm. God, uh, we need a Savior. Yes. Yeah. Then, Father God, in times like these, Father God, we need a healer. Yeah. Then, Father God, in times like these, we don't need nobody but you. No we just want to take our time and say thank Amen. you, Father. Jesus. Then, Father God, we ask now to forget about our past and his family. Oh, Father God, we just ask to build them up on every day. Oh. Not only them, Father God, but the pastor families all over the world. Yes. We just want to take our time and say thank you, Father God. Then, Father God, we ask you to bless our mothers uh, that's uh, locked, on lockdown, Father God. You know what they're saying to me, God. We just want to say thank you. Then, then, Father God, we just ask you to go from heart to heart and from mind to mind on this morning. So, Lord, do you know what we need this morning? And we just want to say thank you, Father God. Realize that we had Father God, you're worthy to be praised. Yes, then, Father God, we ask God to forget about the bereaved family all over the world. Let no Father God, you be not leaning post the mm -hmm. Let no Father God, you can wipe away all the tears oh, now. We just want to say thank you to you. Then, Father God, teach us how to pray. Mm -hmm. Father God, teach us what to pray about. Yes, then, Father God, teach us all how to love more and more. Yeah. We just 
want to take our time and say thank you. Thank you, God. Father, you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, God. the word that you will be praised on this morning. Then, Father God, we thank you for our limbs and move on this morning, Father God. Father God, we're able to step out on your word. Yes, God. Father God, all we got to do is believe, Father God, and everything will be all right. Then, Father God, when we go on the last mile of the way, Father God, when we go out of our room, to come out no more. Father God, we just ask you for a resting place. So around that from all these blessings ask your name, Father. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They can mention they can drop some of our scripture and our prayer. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. God is uh, awesome God. Amen. amen. And this time, amen, we're going to ask uh, Dick Wood to give us one more selection and then we will come and share the word of God with you on this morning. Amen.
good to know it's in the Lord's hand. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Again, first and like we greet you this morning in the name of Jesus. I'm so excited about what God is doing in this time. God knows what he's doing. I'm excited because in the midst of this pandemic, God has drawn souls to him. Early this morning, early this morning, we received a call from a young man and his uh, request was that he be able to rededicate himself. He wants to be restored to Jesus Christ. And so we were so excited about that. We uh, prayed with them and we uh, 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 prayed the seventh prayer and, and uh, prayed restoration. And, and, and we believe that now he uh, have a relationship with God. Amen. So all is not lost. God is still in charge. This week, this week we shared in a week of fasting and praying with our fellow churches. Our, our moderator had us in uh, the call in at noon and the ministers and pastors prayed together. We fasted from 12 a.m. to noon. Amen. Amen. Because we are believing God. Because Jesus declared that how be it this, that these things only come through fasting and prayer. Amen. Amen. We want to encourage you this morning, first your life, to continue to fast this week from 12 a.m. to 12 noon. Uh, we we'll also want you to read each day Psalms 91. Read that in your fasting and praying and meditation time. Amen. We are believing God. Oh, yeah. Amen. That he is still in control. Nice Amen. God. We have uh, we still will have a phone conference uh, Bible study on this coming Wednesday the 15th at 7.30 p.m. The information is on your church Facebook page. Uh, most of you have already sent it out to you by uh, and if you have not received that information, please give myself or uh, First Lady Word a call and we will make sure that you get that information. Amen. Amen. God is still in charge. Amen. For a few minutes this morning, I want to share a word with you from the book of Luke. Amen. The 24th chapter. Amen. Verses 1 through 6. Luke, the 24th chapter, verses 1 through 6. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Uh, now upon the first day of the week, early in the morning, they came into the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of Jesus. And it came to pass that they were much perplexed. Uh, there about, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living amongst the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto them of you when he was yet at Galilee saying the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. Will you pray with me? Father, it's in the name of Jesus that we come, Lord, and God was standing here behind the sacred desk. Lord God, there's no power of our own, but God standing on your word. God, have your way in this place. Decrease me and you increase. Set over down and you stand up. God, we need your word this morning. Send your word. Uh -huh. For, Lord, we need to hear from you. Yes, if we don't hear from you, we don't know what to do. Have your way in this place. Yes, God, we thank you for your word. Do what you do. Yes, Let your name should receive the glory of our praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. From, from this from this passage of scripture, verse 6 says, He is not here, uh -huh. but is risen. Uh -huh. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Now, I want to talk this morning just for a few minutes from the topic, a new day is dawning. A new day is dawning. And, and, and if I could use the subtopic, it would be good news from the graveyard. 
Good news from the graveyard. It is early in the morning after the witnessing of the crucifixion of Jesus on the cross. A horrific time for those who had been and followed Jesus. They observed that he was beaten, spit upon, as he as they placed the crown of thorn on his head and, and how they mocked him and nailed Jesus to the cross and pierced him in the side. They had watched him as he cried out in agony, My God, my God, why had thou forsaken me? As he asked for forgiveness for those who crucified him. And as he gave up the ghost, saying, It is finished. Little did they know that this is not the end of the story, but the dawning of a brand new day. Early in the morning, they are on their way to the tomb. And no doubt, all thought that Jesus was dead. Today, today, today uh, felt better to them than the past few days. Because the birds may have sound a little clear. The sun may have looked a little brighter. Because it is the dawning of a new day. And things are surely going to get better than what they had experienced the past few days. My brothers and sisters, America and the world is experiencing a crisis. And when we turn back to God, there will be a, a new day dawning. A new day gives us a new hope, greater expectation, and new opportunities to repent of our sins, to serve God and our fellow man. Although yesterday we have been full of trouble, God is doing is going to do something new on today. I wish I had a witness out there. It's early in the morning, and the followers of Jesus are on their way to the tomb to put spices on the body of Jesus. They are headed to what we now call the graveyard. The graveyard is a sad place. It is a lonely and cold place. The graveyard is a place of finality. If you would take a walk through the graveyard, you will find out that the graveyard also is a peaceful place. Because there's not too many people that want to hang out in the graveyard. If you search the scripture, you'll find out there was only one man that hung out in the graveyard. And as you walk through the graveyard, you'll find written upon some of the headstones inscriptions such as rest in peace, a loving mother or a loving father. You might find my sweet daughter a, a wonderful son. And upon each of those headstones, there's a date, a dash, and another date. Yeah. The first date represents the date of birth. The second date represents the day of the death. Uh -huh. And the little dash in between representing uh -huh. everything else. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness in here? Job said, Job said, And a lot of people is afraid of the graveyard, especially at night. But this morning I came with good news from the graveyard. Jesus is not there, but he had risen. Later on, Good Friday evening, they took the body of Jesus. And just before sundown, they buried him in a borrowed tomb. This tomb belonged to a rich man. Named Joseph from the city of Aramaca. Joseph was a prominent figure in local society because besides being rich, he was a member of the Sanhedrin, the ruling religious body. You will find this account in all four Gospels. Joseph of Athamea went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Luke 23, 52, the Bible said, this man 
in lead and laid it in a sepulchre that was hewn in stone, where, where, wherein never man before was laid. It was getting near sundown. And that created a problem because in the Old Testament, it was forbidden for the Jews to handle a dead body on the Sabbath. So Joseph and Nicodemus take the body of Jesus. This body. Every day I raise it up again. I be glad that God is still raising us up. Our text says, now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre. Matthew said, late on the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. Mark said very early on the first day of the week. Uh -huh. John said now on the first day of the week. Uh -huh. Mary and Magdalene came early to the tomb. Uh -huh. There's good news for the graveyard. Yeah. They came looking for a dead body. Uh -huh. They weren't expecting a resurrected body. Uh -huh. It is often in the midst of our troubles. Uh -huh. We come expecting the bad. But is there anybody out there know that no matter how bad your situation is, no matter how long your situation has been there, there is good news this morning. God is able to resurrect your situation. Can I get a witness in here? God is able to resurrect that situation. All you gotta do is trust in the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? Somebody may be dealing with the spouse that they have given up. In the tomb. The Bible said that they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Can you imagine what, what they must have been going through? The mind of the women when they looked inside the empty tomb. The Bible said they were much perplexed. They're about, can you imagine how you would have felt if you had gone to the grave of a loved one? and found that the grave was empty. Uh -huh. I can imagine the feeling of emptiness, uh -huh. the feeling of sadness that they may have someone has come of Jesus away. Uh -huh. The Bible says, Behold, two men were standing still in shining garments. Uh -huh. So now not only are they heartbroken, but they are also overcome with fear by the parent of thee to me. But they did not realize that it was a dawning of a brand new day. Because I'm reminded in John 2 19, where Jesus said, If you destroy this temple in three days, I'll rise it up again. I wish I had a witness out there. But I'm glad to see that there is good news. For But 
he is risen. Aren't you glad this morning that the grave is empty? Aren't you glad this morning that Jesus is risen? Just as he said. And the good news is because he lives. We can face tomorrow. The good news is because he lives. All fear is gone. Even with the threat of COVID-19. Because he lives. All fear is gone. Because I know uh, he holds the future. Yeah. I feel like the apostle Paul. Whether I live or whether I die, oh. it is to Christ. I'm so glad oh, that one day when I was lost, oh. Jesus rose in my soul. Yeah. You're a heaven witness yeah. in here. In spite of all oh. that we have been facing, uh -huh. there's a new day dawn. In spite of the fact, that we yet face. There's good news. Yeah. And the good news is, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace is upon him. And with his life, we are healed. The good news is, because he lives, he is my refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. The good news because he got up. He got up. He took the sting out of death. My brothers and sisters, that's the news. I heard Harvey Watson say, I wasn't there when he died on Capitol. Wasn't there when he rose from the grave. I wasn't there when he ascended up on glory. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. But I believe. My brothers and sisters, if you're looking for good news, the great God. It was a strange place to find. Uh -huh. But this evening, this morning, the good news from the great God. Yeah. He is not there, but he is risen. Yeah. But that what Easter is all about. Uh -huh. For if you're looking for good news this uh -huh. morning, yeah. don't look in the great God, uh -huh. but look to Jesus. For he is a wonderful counsel. Yeah. If you're looking for good news, don't look in the great God, uh -huh. but look to Jesus. Yeah. He's our Jehovah Jah. Uh -huh. He will provide. Yeah. If you're looking for good news, on, look to Jesus. Yeah. He's the way out of no way. Yeah. If you're looking for good news, look to Jesus. Uh -huh. He's a mighty good doctor. Yeah. If you're looking for good news, good news. look to Jesus. Yeah. He's our Redeemer. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He's our Savior. Oh, and he's our help. Yeah. Don't go to the tomb. He isn't there, but he has risen, just like he said. I'm glad this morning that one of these days, Jesus is coming back. The Bible declared that when he comes, every eye shall see him. Every tongue shall confess. Every knee is going to bow. And that's what new this morning. If you have confessed him as Lord, one day when this life is over, we shall reign with him. Over there, well, John declared that I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that Jesus went away to prepare a place? And what glad for when this life is over? If we live right. If we treat our neighbor right, if we love the way we want to love, what that for? When we can no longer live on this side, Jesus is coming back for his church. And I want to hear him say, well done. That's good in paper said. There's good news, y'all. Good news this morning from the grave, y'all. Jesus is not there. But the great news is, if you live right, you arrange with him yes, and he turns.
God bless you this morning. God may his love forever be upon you. May his joy and peace be in your heart. Share the good news. Amen. He is no longer in the grave, but he's alive and well. And in spite of what we're facing, in spite of this corona uh, pandemic that we are in right now, amen, God is still in charge. Yes. Amen, amen. We ought to give God a praise. Oh, amen. Yeah. As we prepare oh, to God. sign off this morning, oh, bless the Lord. amen, we know that you're sitting in your home, that you're watching us by way of Facebook. And uh, there might be someone even watching today that does not have a relationship oh, my God. with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you sit in there and you find that it's you, mm -hmm. uh, you can simply give your life to Jesus so. today. Okay. Amen. He said, come unto me, all you that burden and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. So no matter what you may have done, no matter where you have been, Jesus wants to save you today. And so if you say that, and you don't have a relationship with Jesus, why don't you just bow your head to where you are and say these words, dear God, forgive me of my sin. I need you. I confess that I am a sinner. Save me that I may reign with you. God, I'm so sorry for my sin. Oh, receive me today that I may serve you the rest of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And God keep you in his care. Go and share the good news. Jesus is alive and well. God bless you all this morning.